What is going on guys? We are back playing some more Minecraft Unabridged and today we're going to be doing some farming but it isn't your traditional type of farming. We're not going to be standing here in a straw hat getting you know wheat and potatoes and all that good stuff. No, we are going to be getting some ores. Now that means that we're going to be diving into the AgriCraft mod. Now if we look over here in NEI you can see all these different types of seeds with all these funky names and you've probably never seen them before unless you've used AgriCraft in which case you know exactly what I'm talking about. But all of these different seeds get all types of different ores and things like that. So right here, we got, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but this one gets diamond, uh, the redstone endrin, that's a great play on words. Uh, that one gets redstone. There's ones for iron, pretty much everything. You've got iron, gold, copper. I don't even know what this one's for. This one's for tin. This one is for lead. This one's for silver. You got all these different types. And essentially what you do is you start out with you know, vanilla seeds, you get potato seeds, melon seeds, all that good stuff, and you have to crossbreed them, and you eventually get all these fancy types of seeds that can only grow when they're planted, you know, on soil that's above the specific type of ore that they're going to grow, all that crazy stuff. So it's really cool. Uh, it took me about an hour to get all the crossbreeds that are in this chest, so I got uh, seven different types of ore. I'm still missing on copper and tin and aluminum and some of those, but uh, these are some of the pretty common ones that we're going to be using. And this chest is full of all the failures and all that stuff because sometimes it won't grow the right seeds, sometimes it will. So you end up with a bunch of these different, you know, useless seeds in my opinion. Um, but that is fine because we got where we need to go. And I'm going to be setting up an automatic harvesting setup today for these. Uh, it's going to be really simple. I don't even think I'm going to use up all the spots that I can because in here we only have seven and eventually we will have more eventually we'll need to expand our farm but right now we're only going to do one of each seed and without even putting upgrades in i think we can harvest a three by three so that'll be nine spots one for the sprinkler so eight spots we're gonna have one spot free that we're not even going to use and then we are going to put them all into compacting drawers eventually i'll move it into my base but i only have one tesseract right now uh, so we need to get another one before i can do that so we'll have compacting drawers out here which will turn the nuggets into regular ingots because a lot of these only give nuggets and I don't feel like auto crafting all of them so compacting drawers it is but this is where I did the mutations so we need to clean this area up a little bit uh, I actually need to get another bucket because we are gonna need two buckets today here we go uh, for setting up the aqueous accumulator to get the sprinkler going so I guess we can just center it oh we can put it right here so let's just say this will be the center uh, let's jump on this. This will bother me if we got this over here. Let's jump around a little bit. Oh my gosh. Get get screwed up, dirt. Please. Thank you. And there we go. And this is just the seed analyzer. It can just tell you different things about the seeds, uh, which is almost irrelevant unless you're trying to get really good seeds. If you look at this, you can see it's got growth, gain, and strength. I think they go up to 10. Um, I'll worry about getting better seeds later, but for now it's fine. So we're going to leave all those in there, and we just need one piece of dirt to fill in that hole in the ground. Here we go. So this will be the center, which means if we're going to have the sprinkler here, we are going to need the aqueous accumulator. And if we need to put the sprinkler on a block, uh, I don't really think it matters. I don't think we can put it right on top of the aqueous accumulator. I'm actually not too sure. Hmm. I don't even have a way to get the fluid out, honestly, so... Let's put the aqueous accumulator down here, and we'll worry about that later. So the aqueous accumulator will go right here. And where did I even, did I grab? Oh, there it is. What am I, I'm doing, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to throw that down there, and it's getting our water for us. Very nice. And it'll output out the top when we need it to, which is fine. Then we're going to put the harvester. doesn't really matter which side we put it on, but we can just put it, uh, Let's put it right here. So we got this facing this way, so it should be farming all of these blocks right here without any upgrades. And we're gonna need to put the Tesseract down to get this thing power. We can just slap it down right next to it for now. It's already set on the frequency and it is receiving energy only. Eventually we'll have it set to transporting items too, uh, but it's got full energy and it is running now, which means we can come over here and right now our power setup isn't on because there's no, there was no real reason for it to be on before, but I did upgrade this barrel in here. So now it's holding up to 256 stacks because it was getting a little bit too full before. Uh, so in this chest, you can see we got all these dimlets we're going to give to Nod eventually, but 
uh, it was getting backed up in this chest and there were so many pearls that were stuck out here because uh, 64 stacks was not enough and this is going to fill up too soon. Uh, so what we need to do is actually turn this setup on and I don't remember, I think I turned it off just by disabling this, yeah. So the setup should run now and I think that should help keep our ender pearls at bay. Obviously we won't use all this power and I was told that there is a way to make it so when this is full it will turn this off over here or it'll put out a redstone signal so we're going to do that later. I can't even remember which one of the guys on the server told me, but thank you. Uh, they commented that like two or three videos ago, and I just haven't gotten around to it. But it is phenomenal, so once we get around to it, it will be great. Uh, so then, another thing is with these compacting drawers, obviously once they're all full it won't matter, uh, but you can use a little bit less when it comes to conduits and things by... Let me just make sure that we have all the conduits we're going to need. I don't even know if we have enough item conduits. I don't even think we have enough item conduits. I'll have to make some more before we're done. But we could get away with these item conduits if we put a drawer controller, but I don't even have any nether quartz on me, so for now we're just going to hook them up to each drawer individually. Uh, so, hmm. This is going to look a little messy. Let's We can put them over here, I guess. Actually, no, we can just do this. Let's just put them down here, because we're going to move these soon, so it doesn't really even matter where they get placed so they can just go down here this looks so atrocious and we'll hook all of them up eventually but this will extract and all these will have to be insert honestly we could probably get away with a chest but once you start getting a lot of these then you're gonna have to worry so the next thing we need to do is go and dig up all of this right here and oh you know what this is actually gonna be an issue this is gonna have to be even lower right here I wasn't even thinking about that so this has to go down uh, one more just because we need all the different ores to be down here so this is gonna have to go right here the water and we gotta clear out all this dirt right here too except for one piece which I guess we can just do because I'm worried about symmetry because my OCD will go crazy we'll do this back one is not gonna have anything on it and we can grab out all these different ores and just throw them down here so redstone diamond really no particular order but I there probably should be an order because I'm gonna need to remember where each of these are for when I plant the things above them but it's fine okay so we got all of those down I'm really hoping no one's digital miner is anywhere really close to here because if it is then they could actually mine these out unintentionally of course but they could mine them out nonetheless uh, which would be a little annoying so then we need to throw down dirt above them, and I, I guess it's actually kind of okay if we just remember this one's redstone and this one's gold. Okay. Uh, then the next thing is, I guess we could just we could just use fluid conduits, I think. So let us see. Hmm. Let's just use a regular fluid conduit. So we need some clear glass. Gonna have to go upstairs. Get some of that. I think I actually don't even have any clear glass right now but there's no real problem with that. We can just grab some cobblestone out of here. Most of the clear glass I just turned into regular glass, which I probably shouldn't turn all of it into regular glass, but we can just throw some cobble in here. I did put upgrades on these so they're a lot faster now, so we won't have to wait very long. Ooh, nice, I actually do have clear glass in there. Very nice, so we just need to get the conduit binders, and I think we should be good to go. I think we can pump it straight into a sprinkler. If not, we'll just have to make like a little tank or something, but it should just be able to pump it straight in there, I think. If not, there's probably a really cheap tank we can use. Uh, yeah, we could probably just use the open blocks tank. I use obsidian, that's not even cheap. What a lie game, what a lie. Okay, so let's hook that up and let's, oh gosh, I hate how it does that. Okay, let's get that back and hopefully when we place it down this time these will link up first, nice and get the sprinkler out here can we place it down right on top of this oh we cannot I wonder if you use a conduit facade if you can put it down on top of it because it'll act like a block give me that back do we have any conduit facades on us yes we do Oops. there we go okay so these don't have anything on them I was also told you could put these down without doing anything no I thought someone said shift right click I thought they told me I could shift right click it. 
Whatever. So we'll just we'll break these. We'll put down the conduit vest aid and then replace them. Oh, I can't even put these down in general. Do I actually need to paint them? That is atrocious. Okay, we will paint these. I'm hoping this works. If it doesn't, we will have to use a tank. But there's not even any cheap tanks. There really aren't. Okay, so can we put this down? Yes, we can just place this down in general. And I actually think we need to sleep again. Because it is becoming nighttime. So many day-night cycles. It's a lot easier when you're working inside. You don't have to worry about it becoming nighttime constantly. Okay, so we can throw this down. Can we put the sprinkler down on top of this? Yes, we can. Okay, so I'm hoping that this will pump directly in there. It looks like it does. Yes, it does. Okay, so I guess you just have to have a block for that to be placed on. I know it's painted a weird color, guys. I know. I'm sorry. I'll change that later. I didn't even think it was going to work, to be honest. Luckily, it is spraying in the correct direction, though, which is good. So, and we can just get all of these. Now, the one thing that is different about AgriCraft from regular, um, I guess just Minecraft farming, is you need these crop sticks. So what you do is you put these down just one at a time, and they just kind of look like that, and you can plant things on them. When you're trying to like get crop mutations, you can grow crops on these, and then the ones that you're trying to get mutated so it would be like, uh, let's, I'll give you an example. Okay, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I say crop mutations, we'll go to AgriCraft. Let's say you wanted to get redstone dendron. Uh, obviously, you'd have the redstone below the soil on this corner block because this is where you want to grow it. Okay, so then one of the side or one of the blocks that's adjacent to that would have red tulip seeds, and then another block would have daisy seeds. So we put daisy seeds here and red tulip seeds here, and then on this one we would put this. So you kind of double up on it. Um, it. That's if you're trying to grow a different one, though, or if you're trying to mutate the crops. Right now, we're not, so we only need one of each. Uh, but now what we need to do is put all the seeds in, because as you can see, they can grow weeds, which is kind of annoying. So come over here, get all of our different seeds, and we're going to have to remember a little bit where we put things. So the gold, oh my gosh, I forgot it's going to do this. Oh, OK, that's annoying. Whatever, we'll deal with it for now. Uh, the gold is right here. The redstone is right here. I want to say the diamond is right here. You can tell if it says the plant is fertile and can grow on Wayla. This one, plant is fertile and can grow. And this one, plant is fertile and can grow. Okay, so let's see what else is down here. We got the lapis over here. The whatever that is. <laughs> the uh, lead goes right here. And... The silver goes right here, and then obviously the iron, only one left, should go right over here. So these should all say that they can grow. Let's just check to make sure they can grow, they can grow, and they can grow. So the important part now is that these start growing, and they're not, which is a little, okay, so some of them are growing. That is good. Man, this is really annoying with all these all this grass around here. Once we get this fully set up, it won't really matter because we won't have to come down here at all but it's a little annoying right now. So all these should be growing, and we can just cover this up on this side right here because we don't need to actually get down there at all. And eventually grass will grow on that. Once these grow, though, what it should do is it should harvest all of the seeds. Or Well, it's, it doesn't break these. The reason you don't need a planter is because it doesn't break these. Uh, it's essentially like you could right-click them, and they would drop the you know nugget or redstone or lapis or whatever and then they would just go back to being zero percent so this thing will essentially do like just right click them and pull out whatever they would normally drop so it's important that these finish growing um, i'm going to put some torches down around them just to make sure that they have good enough light so even at night they can continue growing and i don't know if a watering can does better than these but I feel like they're growing really slow right now so I just want to test it to make sure they're all working and get all the storage drawers set up correctly okay so right there that one was fully grown the diamond is fully grown it harvested it and then it put it in here so we have one diamond nugget so this is really strong once you get it automated and I think you can get them even better uh, once you kind of get better seeds so these are all like one 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 on the strength growth and whatever list for the seeds that I showed you before but I mean you could just stand here like you could literally just sit with your mouse held on right click or something 
and just sit like this. Obviously, I think the sprinkler should help them grow faster. I don't know. I don't know if this just keeps them watered or actually helps them grow faster, but uh, now what we can do is come over here, and there will be some backup because we need to go make some more conduits, but you can see silver nuggets, lapis. Uh, obviously, this one doesn't come out as nuggets, so it's a little bit more effective, obviously, because, like, you consider, like, one iron ingot similar to one piece of redstone, but it gives you actually iron nuggets and one piece of redstone, so... Uh, what we need to do now is actually go and make some more item conduits. So, I can't even remember. Aren't item conduits just... Okay, so they are... Unfortunately, we do not have three nuggets. We have two nuggets on hand from pulsating iron, uh, from what I made earlier. Uh, I'd actually made an ender IO farming station, which I'm a little annoyed about now, just because when I made that, I thought we were going to be doing or using that, but it turns out the Mine Factory Reloaded farming station is a lot better for this. I don't even know if the Ender.io one works. So I wasted all this time and resources making the Ender.io farming station, when in reality, we didn't even need it. So if we come over here, you can see, yeah, I got two pulsating iron nuggets. Yeah, that really helps out. <laughs> Not really. Um, but luckily, this thing is faster, so we just got to chuck these in there. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? Such a waste, so much ender pearl dust. I think it was Wells did that, and he was annoyed that he made his ender pearls into ender pearl dust when you really, you don't need this. I don't know if this serves any purpose at all, so unfortunate, but whatever. It's just there to remind me of the mistakes that I've made. Okay, so I'm not really worried about, you know, being super fast when it comes to transporting stuff, uh, so we can just hook these up, no, this needs to be disabled, and hook these up. This looks so atrocious, but I will move this in a little bit. Uh, so I think the stuff should come through on, the, oh, it need, needs to be set to insert too. Oh, you know what, it's good that it ended up like this too, because it means that all the stuff will go to the correct drawers. Uh, it's hard to explain why, but Essentially, it only had three drawers to go to, so they didn't all go to random drawers when we got two silver nuggets. It could have gone to other drawers because they have nothing in them. Uh, but you can see now, we got lead, iron, diamond, uh, silver, and lapis. So the last ones will be redstone and gold, which I really want to get grown right now just because I want them to fill up their drawers. So that's right here. This one's fully grown, should get harvested, and this one... It's almost grown. There we go. It's fully grown. Awesome. So all of these are good to go. And it looks really weird over here right now just because, like, these all are kind of screwed up. Uh, and you can't even, like, it wouldn't be that bad if they weren't one level down. Like, you have to go down here to be on the same level as them. So it's just kind of weird. But eventually, I will make that Tesseract accept items, and they will go upstairs where we will actually be using them. Uh, we could actually just put them... Well, I was going to say we could put them directly into our storage system, which we could, but the only issue with that is they wouldn't be turned into blocks yet. So I actually might just keep them here because these compacting drawers will help us keep this relatively clean, and eventually once we get our applied energistics set up going, then we can just put them into that directly, and then it'll be fine. Um, but I think that is going to be it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to give it a like. Hopefully you did. It's a little different than usual. Never actually messed with this mod before. Now, one thing I want to address, though, before I go is I know a lot of people will think this is broken. Um, it's overpowered. You can make it very overpowered by making huge, huge farms of this, expanding the radius with upgrades to, like, a radius of, like, 12 or something, and just making the huge farms upon farms to get all the different types of ores. Uh, it is kind of broken. It's... A little bit less broken than EE3, which we had in the last series, but uh, I think it's interesting, and also being at college now, I don't have the free time to sit on here and gather stuff, doing all that for, you know, hours upon hours, so this will make it that I can put out more videos for you guys, so I do apologize if you find it OP or anything like that, but I hope you can understand that, you know, I, I don't really have the time to go around and gather things, so this will allow me to put out videos more frequently for you guys, so... Yeah, like I said, though, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like. It helps me out a lot and lets me know I'm doing something right. And I will talk to you guys later.